Now our other top local story, snarling traffic on the new highway split that just opened this morning. A live look now from the RIDOT jam cam on the Washington Bridge where you can see traffic is moving pretty smoothly. We're getting the latest now from Eyewitness News reporter Naked Nwosu. Vince, I, um, DOT officials tell us that the highway opened officially at 3.15 this morning and so far there have been no highway related accidents. There were, however, several backups, but overall they say everything went as expected. At the height of the morning, commute traffic on 195 West was backed up. Watch as drivers scrambled between lanes trying to navigate the new split. I think overall it went, it went well. It went as predicted. Um, there, were, um, there were the type of backups that we expected. Um, I think we're generally pleased. Drivers headed west on 195 to 95 south towards Cranston or Warwick must stay to the left. That will take them over the highway. DOT officials say despite some confusion, commute times were about the same. It really didn't get any worse because you can see the new roadway across the highway bridge is pretty well free, free flowing. And some drivers had even shorter commutes. Because the old 195 to southbound 95 left-hand entrance merge has gone away, 95 southbound in the morning is actually a free or flowing highway. If you're on 195 West headed north towards Pawtucket or Attleboro, you'll stay to the right to take the old way. Those drivers had longer commutes this morning, partly caused by confusion at the South Main Street exit. We'll continue to look at that and refine it as needed to make sure people are aware that that's the exit that's open. Now, some drivers opted to take the Henderson Bridge to avoid some of the traffic here, but they actually ended up hitting some construction-related traffic. But overall, again, they say everything ran smoothly. The next challenge comes this afternoon. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nakan Wosu, Eyewitness News.